Hi everybody, I'm here with Kate and uh, Tony from UK Games Expo again and today we're having a bit of a chat about the beginner's guide for the event. So one thing that happens every year is you guys get more and more new folks coming in and it's a big event so they can get lost. So what do you guys do to actually help these folks along? Um, so for the actual new people coming to the convention, um, we have a dedicated um, beginner's guide which, the, which is handed out at the convention. Um, but obviously if you want to know about things before you get there, mm -hmm. then on our website, um, if you look at the website under, and here's one we've prepared earlier, um, <laughs> if you look at this and under visitor, the first thing under visitor is um, the whole beginner's guide to the expo. Now this is a cut down version of what you'll get actually at the event. Mm -hmm. But it's everything on a who we are, what we do, all mm -hmm. the things that you can yes, take part in. Where the toilets are. Yes, because <laughs> that. This, is, this is a full service website. <laughs> Food and drink, uh -huh. toilets, car parking, accommodation, mm -hmm. get in there, the venue, volunteering. I thought that said loitering for a second there. <laughs> volunteering. Is that what your volunteers do? <laughs> they just, Some they just loiter about. <laughs> they just loitering about, yeah. But they've got a whole page to tell them how to do it properly. Yep. Okay. Um, and even archives of old programmes, if you'd like oh. to, to look at uh, the programmes from previous years. That's handy. That's very handy. So basically this is to help folks who are coming in just figure out what is where and what they can be getting up to. Because let's say I'm someone, I'm just beginning into board gaming or war gaming or card gaming or role playing, mm -hmm. and I've never experienced an event before. And I mean, like, that is something that can be a little bit intimidating for some folks. Yep. Absolutely. And, and if Expo is your first convention, then that's a big step. Yes. Yeah. And um, uh, myself and Richard went to Gen Con last year, which is probably the biggest convention in the world, been going for 50 years. And it has to be said, we were slightly intimidated and trying to work out how we get into a game, mm -hmm. you know, where everything is. Yep. And so coming away from that, we realised if we were struggling... Yep. and we are complete nerds yep. and run a convention, yep. then what's it going to be like for somebody who's there for the first time? Yep. Yes. So there's several things we do to help you out. And uh, so the first thing is um, put a little bit of pre-planning in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, A little bit of time and effort will help. So come to the website, read through that page, so that way at least you know where you're parking, yep. uh, how to get in, how your tickets work. Yeah. So, you know, just for if you're a first-timer at the show, we don't email you or send you your tickets, mm -hmm. okay? The tickets are all collect at the show. Yeah. And the reason for that is it seems to us no point sending you the ticket mm -hmm. so you can bring it back and give it to us. Yep. Yeah? That seems a slightly circular yep. thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, and we don't use email tickets because it would slow everybody coming in and mm -hmm. back out of the convention. And because yeah. at our convention, people come in and out all the time, yeah. um, that would be a nightmare. So, yeah. well, you have a constant roll of folks rolling in and out. That's why you have the lanyards. Yeah, yes, and so, the, so you'll get a nice badge, goes in your lanyard, in you go. Mm -hmm. So, if you're coming with children, mm -hmm. um, if they're 11 or under, they're free. Ooh. Is that right? 11 yep. or under? Yeah, it's 11 yep. and under yep. are free. Free. Right. Um, and then there's a discounted price 11 to 16. Right, so I, I can't turn up in like my, my old school uni and say I'm under 11? <laughs> no, because no. what will happen is because you can't purchase or mm -hmm. pre-order your 11 or under tickets. Mm -hmm. You have to go to a ticket booth, which everybody has to do, and present the 11-year-old the or yes. the 10-year-old yes. so the ticket person can go, are you sure you're 10? <laughs> <laughs> you know, me with the full beard, yeah. Yeah, yes, that's exactly. right. So, um, on. <laughs> so don't worry if you can't buy those online yeah. cause, because they're free, yeah. you literally bowl up. And we, and we sort you out on the day with yeah. that when you're collecting your other passes and tickets. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. So the first thing to do is to do that. When you arrive, look for the first-timer's guide. Yes. yes. There is a printed version, and that one has all the up-to-date information from just, uh, I think we print it something like 12 days before show. Right. Yeah. So by then we know where everything is, what everything's going on, or most of it, yep. and that goes into your New York, and that will tell you what you can do. Yeah, and I assume if you're looking for one of those and can't see it, find a blue shirt. Yes, yes. Uh, blue so, shirts or... So, so the, the ambassadors, mm -hmm. so a big part of, of what we do um, with people there is that everyone has a different UK Games Expo coloured shirt. Mm -hmm. Your light blue shirts, these are your ambassadors. They are trained specifically to seek you out and help you. Mm -hmm. And you can also go to them and say, I don't really know what I'm doing. I want to do this. I don't know where it is. You can ask them where the toilet is. This is a running joke because um, they get asked that a lot in spite of, you know, 89 foot 
font on the edge of the building and stuff um but they will absolutely help you get mm -hmm. into games they'll find out what you can what you can do mm -hmm. um they are an absolute gem for mm -hmm. people who are starting off or people who are feeling a bit overwhelmed yes because it's wonderful as a nerd being amongst nerds it's wonderful as a family being amongst families mm -hmm. but when you put twenty five thousand unique visitors together yeah that's a lot of people yeah. and that can seem very overwhelming yeah Please yes, don't and, worry. An expo is a different, it's a different vibe. It's a different yes. thing. So yeah. you, you may have been to shows at the NEC before and you go in and you buy stuff and then you go. Yeah. And, and the expo isn't like that. No. Yeah. It's about playing. Yes. You can buy this stuff, yep. but the trade all isn't just about trade. Yeah. There's an awful lot of stands there that won't sell you anything. You can just play on them. Yeah. So um, FFG's demonstration area, as Devium's gateway games area, mm -hmm. a lot of the traders. So there's lots to do. And I remember uh, my wife said after about the fourth expo, mm -hmm. I, she'd been wandering around and she said, um, are we allowed to play any of these things? And of course, it had never occurred to me. I hadn't explained to my wife, who isn't the most avid gamer. She yeah. does play quite a lot of games yeah, now. Yeah. She's good at but Dominion. She just didn't didn't realise, you know, can I do that? Can I? Mm -hmm. And as the British, we tend to be a little reserved. Yes. Mm. If it's not clear, we'd rather not ask and be embarrassed and mm. then have to just go and hide for a year because yeah. <laughs> we've embarrassed ourselves. It's like when people fall over in the street. You yeah. can tell what nationality they are by how quickly they get up. Yes. So British people basically bounce, <laughs> don't they? They'll fall over, and because they've fallen over, and they're well, it doesn't matter if they broke their legs nope. or anything, they will bounce back <laughs> up and go, oh, nothing, nothing to see here, that's fine. fine. <laughs> There's, in fact, a ball game about it. It's called Very British Problems. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm going to have to get that in for a yep. play. <laughs> so there's... You know, I understand that if, you know, it's like we say to our retailers, price things clearly because yep. British yep. people won't ask. Yep. And therefore they just They'd won't They'd rather shuffle off. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, I don't know how much that is. I don't want to ask and then find I can't afford it. Mm. Yeah. It's one piece of advice I've given. We've had guests come through talking about going to Expo, and I've always advised them, if you're going to Expo, plan to have a decent-sized demo area and make yep. sure that it's clearly seen as a demo area. Yep. Yes. And, and it, have people inviting, inviting yes. folk in. So one of the things that the, the Blue Shirt Ambassadors will do mm -hmm. is say come and play a game and they'll, they'll make that accessible they'll have people sat down and, and they'll even, they'll even walk you to the stand yes. and introduce you and, mm -hmm. and, and then so that so that they are that, that conduit they're that link the to, to, yeah, to yeah. get you from wow what do I do to actually being involved playing yeah. orientating yourself so that beginner's guide's the first thing mm -hmm. then if you've read that had a coffee and had a look through that and gone right I've got a couple of questions mm -hmm. yeah. find a blue shirted ambassador yep. don't be embarrassed that's what they're there for they have no other job mm -hmm. yep. they are there all weekend they're specially trained yes mm -hmm. we've got people who can speak in whole sentences some in different languages <laughs> yes some in different languages yeah, we've we've, some we've, in English amazing. yes some, yeah, some we've we got the whole we repertoire <laughs> it's extraordinary <laughs> barely <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's that's the the general idea you know mm -hmm. if if this is your first time now if you're a nerd and there's plenty of us mm -hmm. and you're a gamer and you've not been yes i can guarantee you you may suffer from the same problems yes this yes. is not unique to New people time. who've never played games because mm -hmm. you will arrive and you'll go right how do i buy it i want to play that how do i get a ticket for it yes okay so expo has two things you have your event entry badge yes yeah, that gives you access to the entire expo, to the halls, etc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can play demos, board game library, go to the bring and buy, da di da da di da di da di da. Yep. If you want to play in an extra event, like in the nationals, like a board game event, mm -hmm. an RPG game, there's an additional charge. Yeah. And the reason that's there is because we don't think people who've just generally come for all the other stuff mm -hmm. should subsidise those where we have to put in referees, tables, chairs, yeah. space. Yeah. Um, so, and that charge is effectively just, in fact, it doesn't even cover the cost. Mm. It just means I don't cry as much at night. <laughs> as much. Yeah, not as much. A little bit, shed a little tear. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you're talking sort of, you know, it can be four, five, ten pounds. If you're, if you're yeah. in a sealed Depending deck, the then you've got product with it then of course that price goes up because it yes. covers the cost of the product those can be bought from event desks mm -hmm. which is in hall one hall two in the hilton library yeah okay and uh, they have they have screens or yep. you can look on the app 
or on the website that will show you what stuff's available mm -hmm. yes and you go i'll have one of them you pay for it and they print your little ticket out yeah yeah the ticket will tell you where the event is what time it's on mm -hmm. Etc. So that's all your information. If you want to get involved in an event, mm -hmm. an organised play event, go to the event desks, yep. and they will sort you out. They'll um, even give you really great advice if you're not yes. sure what to play. Mm -hmm. And I assume as well, make sure to keep your your event program with you as well, because yeah, absolutely. it's got a nice big map in it. Yeah. So so the event program the event program is wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's um, free. It's it's free. It is free. I love that it's free. <laughs> Honest. He doesn't love this at all. <laughs> <laughs> but not only is it free, free, not only is it free, but it looks like um, it looks like a magazine. So it's a. Do you know why it looks like a magazine? Tell me why it looks like a magazine. Because it is one. It is a magazine. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> this means it has articles and interesting things. Yes. And um, commentary on. Uh, all sorts of things to do with gaming, whether you're a first time gamer, whether you've been doing this for some time. Um, it's we're got doing, maps. It has a map. Yeah. It has a map of the halls, both halls. It's got a map of the hotel. Event it's listings. Got where, yeah. where to go, where to see everything. It's also got a lot of interesting stuff. So, um, oddly, we find that whilst people keep their program with them at the time, they will read it just as much on the train on the way home or the yeah. week or so afterwards and we show people. Free. <laughs> it's free. I it's say that very because short. a lot of people... I don't have the old Santa Claus movie stuff in my head. That, that one guy going, for, 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 for free? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when we came to park, yeah, here, didn't we? I was going to say. We, we parked and the power park outside says it's free. free. Yeah. Which we so didn't believe. So, you know, coming from yeah. London and no, places like, like that, we were like, no. uh, okay. And then we saw a traffic warden, yes, which then red. spooked us. And we were like, why would a traffic warden be here if it's free? So we were sensibly spoke to him and said, uh, how much is it to park here? And he said, it's free, which entirely bypassed us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, like, no, three, you three pounds three, an hour. Three, three pounds an hour? Or three pounds and, for the... And, and he, he had said, quite a thick accent. And he did the whole, it used to be 20, 20p, and I came in as, what, 20 pounds an hour? I'm going from London. <laughs> we were going, that's, that's not too that's bad. That's right. We're okay. <laughs> okay. Where do we get a ticket? And then he was like, no, it's free. free. Yeah. It's nothing. He's like, yeah. no, no, we're, we're going <laughs> to... Try it again. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's, it's one thing I like about Expo because where you're at with the NEC, you've actually got a train station and the airport bolted on. Yeah. Oh, do. yes, yes. I mean, yes. Oh, and in addition to that, in yes. addition to that, if you come by train, there's a 20% discount. Ooh, very handy. Train fares on the day of the show to the Expo. I'm not quite sure how that works, so I'll no. have to look it up. Yeah. But there's a, a discount, a 20% discount for train fares. Um, to the uh, Birmingham International That's train station good. yes for Expo so Which is again right inside the NEC the walking you do is all undercover yeah um, you wake up and bang your head on the convention it's amazing yeah, yeah. And if, again, you're, if you're if you're flying in that day you'll fly in there's a little tram from the yep. airport takes you to the NEC little monorail yeah oh it, it was so fun the first time I flew <laughs> into that <laughs> it took so one of our chaps came from, uh, I think, came from Belfast, mm -hmm. and it took him less time to get from Belfast into the NEC on his aeroplane than it did to me to drive from Nottingham to the NEC <laughs> <laughs> that morning. Yeah, so okay. ve very easy to get to. There yeah. is ample car parking. Yes. Mm -hmm. The car parking is not free because no, it's not. charged by the NEC. Yes. Yeah. So I think it costs more to park yes. than it does to get in for yeah, a single yeah. day. However... Yeah. Come in a bunch, it's about sixteen pounds. Yeah. If you're coming for more than one day, we have special discounted parking mm -hmm. which makes the NEC cry. Which <laughs> I'm very proud of. <laughs> well, I, I mean like you, you look like a decent negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> I like to angle. <laughs> so um, you can get a three day pass. Um it, it's on the website. I think it's about twenty four pounds for the three that, yeah. for That's the three days. That's so but by then you're getting down to, you know, about what I can park for at home. Yes. Right. You know, in Kidderminster. Um, and why they charge for parking <laughs> in Kidderminster is completely beyond me. Because they can. And why you would stop on the way through is, is beyond me as well. <laughs> so hey, count yourselves lucky. The the car park out there it's, it's not free. Be free. It's yeah, for now. Free. For now. But they're gonna be putting the charge back on it. So next time you come across, make sure and pay. Yeah, twenty oh. P. We'll be all right with that. Well, we, we did ask we the are. traffic warden what he was doing in the car park uh, if yes. it was free. I mean, oh, yeah, well, they, they park in disabled spaces. Yep, and there was actually a brilliant one where Alas was selling her car, mm -hmm. and so she parked it in two days because she didn't <laughs> want to get it scratched. It's top and quality, th this, this was whenever it wasn't free, and she bought two tickets. Oh, wow. Still got a ticket. <laughs> 
Uh, I know it was a, a job's worth of it, but there it was. We're not sure about that one. So, if yes. you're coming along, you, there's ample parking, shuttle buses straight into the yes. NEC. Yeah, and then you've um, got the Resorts World right across from it where absolutely. you can get food and drink and stuff. Oh, well, no, there's several places. So, the NEC yeah. sell their food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> which is expensive and interesting. Well, um, I go to England. All food is expensive. However, if you go <laughs> over to the true. Hilton Hotel, which where we also hold, mm -hmm. there's a food court there. Yes, mm -hmm. and th these guys, um, uh, food vans, festival food vans, mm -hmm. their food's really great. Really mm -hmm. love them. Get a Jeff dog. <laughs> uh, from the hot dog guy yeah. and it's not and, and they're gourmet hot dogs mm. oh, yeah. so they're not those boil in the water things yeah. where you're just like what is that yeah Frankfurt is it alive is it dead and they, 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 they taste weird because they've got meat in them <laughs> yeah, <it's just laughs> yeah. but he does a chili dog a Jeff dog with, yeah. with homemade chili oh. on it oh man yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's all I eat for the weekend yeah. no, at some see, point I run over and go give me a Jeff dog yeah. <laughs> uh, for me it's the, the little burger place out front of the Hilton Yes. Does the American and Swiss yeah. and the steam. Oh, very, yeah. very oh, but what Becky's barges, if she comes, does these great big sort of fresh onion barges. Yeah, yeah. And they're not like the onion barges you get from the Indian restaurant where you get that sort of hockey puck. Uh, yeah, yeah. Foo. Yeah. No, they're these <laughs> yes. great big things with lovely relishes and sauce. Mm. The, the waffle place. The waffle place oh, is the waffle amazing. Place, yeah. So it's actually, it's five minutes walk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? And I would recommend you take the five-minute walk over to the Hilton, yes. yeah. especially if the sun's out. Well, it's a five-minute walk, but the lines, my God, they are so busy. Yeah, but they, they go through them quick. Yeah, they, they do. do. They do big quick. sets. Yeah, yeah, so they are they are very well versed that you know this is what they do for a living. Oh yeah, yeah. They bang through those lines nice and quickly. And again, you know, just stagger when you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah don't all go at half yeah. past twelve. No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And we understand that because we have volunteer queuing points because yeah. our volunteers of course you know we don't give them you know a whole hour off so uh, <laughs> we that, do feed them <laughs> so that they they can they can jump the queue yeah um, and and people who come to the show are very good about letting yeah. them do that knowing they've got to crack on with work yeah that and there's pubs and stuff nearby as well if Absolutely. you want to have a few drinks in the evening with your mates oh you know, yeah yeah resort world's got all the tgi fridays and that underneath oh, yeah. and a casino and, and a cinema, cinema yeah. and uh, why you be in that when there's gaming all evening well actually last year we arrived early and couldn't get in so we went to the cinema beforehand and saw Deadpool 2 oh there yeah, we go there yeah, we go so, so <laughs> if you're coming for that first time travel piece of cake yes you can park you can yeah. come by train yeah tons you of can accommodation fly. around there there yeah. is lots of accommodation on the yes. website have we oh it's disappeared no, no, I can bring it up again yeah. if you have a look under visitor so if I get my mouse to work visitor yeah. okay if you click on our accommodation page yeah because this will be good to show folks yeah once it loads Okay. So this this is sourcing deals now, and as you can see, yeah, you've got the, the, lots the, of options. So these will give you all of the options around yeah. the place. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, prices are what price are. If you're staying at the Hilton, that's going to be expensive because yeah. it's right on site. But yeah. stuff five minutes away, you can start picking up, you know, decent deals, and there there are others. So mm -hmm. if you want to look on here, you can. As you can see, look, we're down to about eighty nine pound here, forty six yeah. pound. I'm staying there. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, how far away is it? Eight minutes drive. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's if you want to. Yeah. You know, that there are lots of. There's actually camping five minutes on the other side of the roundabout. Yeah. Really. To the NEC, mm -hmm. there's a don't camping tell ground. Don't tell yeah. Warren. <laughs> <laughs> You're all going to wake up. Order. That'll save me some rooms, <laughs> won't it? <laughs> Our exclusive media partners are camping. <laughs> yes. As I said, I've Warren. only been camping once with my son. I told you last night. Well, yeah. Warren goes camping. I don't. You know, if, if, if I'm doing that, I'm going glamping. No, 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 no. Me and Toby and my daughter went camping once. It yeah. rained the entire time. I put the tent up wrong. Yeah. There was lots of rain. In fact, I think there was more rain in the tent than out. <laughs> Did you yeah. put the tent inside out? I don't know what happened. I just, I'd never put one up. I put this up. I borrowed it off a friend. And I remember I found a chip shop one night where we were both all starving, all three yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. And as we came out, my son bedraggled and, mm -hmm. you know, as you are when you're camping, looked at me and we had, is this what it's like being homeless? <laughs> <laughs> to which I was like, yeah, it is pretty much, mate, but probably without the chips. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's and harshness. The, and that, that was the only time we went From to the camping. From the Moses Beards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, very much so. <laughs> I had visions of warm sunshine and sausages on yeah. an open fire in the morning. So I'm guessing <laughs> socks no, and sandals. I, need, I needed a scuba mask and stuff. There was that much water and mud. Yeah, but for, for UK Games Expo, I'm assuming we're around a time of year where the camping weather is gorgeous. Yes, it's yes. at all 
always gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It's always nice, actually. Very, and you can, I think you can park a camper van and that sort of thing. So yeah. have a look around. They're, they're, all of those options are there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and as I say, you can you can even if you've got a hotel five ten minutes away, yeah. you can just Uber or cab in yeah, yeah. to save Especially yourself on the parking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's also not very difficult if you're staying actually in Birmingham itself. Yeah. Then it's a really really quick yeah, trip. It's ten minutes. Ten minutes street. from Birmingham Central from, Birmingham. Yeah, from New yeah, Street yeah. into into International. Oh, and I remember I did an event there once. Yeah. I literally had like half a day and I was just like, all right, I'm going to go look around yeah. Birmingham. Yeah, Bir Birmingham is actually amazing for I. I I'm, I fear public transport. <laughs> I really? like my car, uh, but Birmingham is actually really, really good for it, mm. and you can just you can head in and out very easily, yeah. which is good. You well, see, you see long lines of nerds in a slightly ant-like fashion. <laughs> it's well, wonderful. It's, it's one thing I find when you're doing stuff like this, mm. if you're coming from outside the event space, yeah, there's sort of a saturation point where the nerds outnumber the locals. Yes, yes. And it's, yes. It, I, I went to a, a comic con one year in London, so I got on from yeah. where I was living. I was at the train station in my costume, feeling a little bit awkward. And then it's just like, oh, there's a, a fellowship of the room. I'll, I'll, yep. I'll, I'll, I'll hang out with them. <laughs> and then we got on the train and each stop, more nerds got on and more nerds got on and more nerds got and on. And the locals are looking around going, have we missed a memo? <laughs> <laughs> Is this a flash mob? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's the beginner's guide for UK Games Expo. It yes. sounds like it's everything's tailored to make life as easy as possible for new and returning visitors. It might seem overwhelming. Mm. Yeah. Ask someone. Yeah. Social media, oh, Facebook. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Twitter. Yep. Yeah. What's that other thing that the young the youngsters do? <laughs> Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Yes. I assume there's Snapchat. No, no, we we it's a step it's too far. Snapchat. Though. We're going. It's uh, it's the ghosty looking one. <laughs> I'll explain Yellow it symbol, little ghost. <laughs> no, no, no. To be perfectly honest, man, I don't do Facebook, Twitter, or really? <laughs> no, I don't do any of them. So I'm never I, off. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably why. I but all of those things are available, and we do have people who, who monitor those, and, yes. and, yeah. and Kate's in charge of, of all of our social media. Mm -hmm. So it very much go and like the Facebook page, yes, yes. and I don't know if you can like Instagram, Snapchat thing. <laughs> I think you can probably heart. follow. Yeah, okay, follow so if you want to do yeah. Snapdragon, no, <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> If you want to do that, coming next year. <laughs> <laughs> Can't understand new technology. That's that's the problem here, isn't it? Well, actually, cost, probably because I'm anti-social is the problem. So technology, I'm fine with. It's social media. He was the president of his anti-social social club at uni. <laughs> there we go. Um, sign up for the newsletter. Yes, yeah. of course. Okay, the newsletter comes in various flavours. So yeah. if there's something like board games, etc., you're interested in, yeah, yeah. you're a geek coming to your first convention. Yeah, or the first year time you've been to the UK Games Expo, yeah. where just the scale is yeah. often what blows people's minds. Yeah. I do remember the first time you guys came, Dude, I and, and you thought like, you you thought you guys were on it. Yeah, yeah, you'd been to Salute and things like this. Yeah, yeah. And I remember Warren came in, and then and you and you were just like, <laughs> 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 yeah. and we went. And it's got bigger since then. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we we understand scale is an issue. You'll look at the map mm. and you'll think you've got it in your head yeah. and then you walk into the halls and see the and size there. of the halls yeah and then seeing that it's there's actually multiple venues between yes. the Hilton between the two yeah. halls yes yeah, it's when you notice that there's a double decker bus parked in the hall yeah. and it looks Tiny. Dinky. So like, where's the bus? And you think, well, I should be able to see it. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so um, so spend that time. You can either, as I say, sign up to individual channels or there's a digest on the newsletter. Yeah. 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 And in terms of your data, by the way, we don't sell it to anyone. We barely look at it ourselves. In fact, we barely ask for any data. We, we yeah. don't keep any of it. That was my first marketing thing. He's like, what's the demographic? Where is everyone? And Tony's like, oh, I don't know. So, Don't know. But, but we, we've got this information, right? Because people sign up and it's like, no, they've no, got tickets. I've got, got their email got address. address. Why do I get the feeling there was a filing cabinet? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well we've got an email address yeah. and we've got a name, yeah. and the name not necessarily yours. Yeah. Yeah. We this just ask you to put a name in. Yeah. Yes. If you're buying tickets, it does help if you put your real name in. <laughs> or a name you can remember. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> several people do tend to put in funny joke names, yes. uh, which is all fine and funny until yeah. you there's a problem with your ticket, yeah. and then they, we go, what's your name? And you actually give us your name. But of course, that isn't That's in the system. The system yeah. I can't find point, tickets for Dave when they're under Darth Teddy Bear. <laughs> yes, or so, George the Bear. Yeah, had, yeah you know, Bear or, well. or I think signing up is stupid. Yes. Really? Some, somebody else put in. To which I went, me too. Allow me to delete your account. 
Ka-tink. Okay. So we ask for your name, yeah. really, so that we can link it up to, yeah. to so whatever you purchase. Yeah. So we can so, give tickets. Now. But that's all we ask for. So we yeah. only ask for an email address and a name. Yeah. Passwords, of course, are super encrypted and, and store. But that we don't store credit card details. We yeah. don't store. We don't ask you for other information because yeah. you know what? We why, don't, why would we? We don't yeah. need it. We don't need it. GDPR isn't much of a stress for us because we didn't collect it beforehand. No. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The one final note I would say on this is if you're a new family considering this, it's definitely a show to check out because of, there is such a wide variety of folks Absolutely. who turn up to the show. Yes. That was the thing that surprised me more than anything else, just mm. seeing the different social groups that were coming together for yep. this one massive event. Oh, it's definitely a yep. family day out. Yeah. It's, Absolutely. It is, and, it, and it's a great family day out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, a, a family ticket costs. Things we should know. Things we should know and don't probably have on, the website, on the website under tickets. Yes. <laughs> Do you want me to go hunting? Yes, go yeah. on. Just <laughs> just give us a, a price. And and, right. and you're right because uh, so one of just the just go to tickets there. Right. That's it. And, and then, uh, ticketing system. Uh, tickets, just go ticket, tickets. Just click tickets. Okay, click tickets. There we go. Uh, so, buy tickets on the right. There we go. Buy tickets. Oh, on what the right. do entry ticket cost? It's also a. Uh, yeah, there we go. Cost. Look at that. There you go. Yeah, oh, okay, so there we go. So look, a family ticket is going to cost you. That's funny, isn't it? Because it's the only one we have. There we go. Eighty pounds. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not for bad. the that's, that's for the three a, days. That's a whole three days. If you want to do a single bad. day family, thirty five pound. That's not What's bad. a family? Mumish, daddish, and some kids. Yeah. <laughs> some adults. Yeah. Some offspring. We're not. We're not really <laughs> too stressed. Yeah. You know, if you turn up with fourteen people. Clearly, some of which aren't related to you. Yeah. We may query it. I assume there's no <laughs> DNA test at the ticket booth. Oh, that's an idea. Oh, God. No. No. Was that a suggestion? No. In the suggestion no, it box? No, really isn't. So, you know, but we're, we're not we're not nailed down to this. You know, a family ticket is is two adults and two yeah. Ki yeah. kids. Yeah. So if you've got three, that's, you know, fine. Yeah. That's a family ticket to yeah. us. 11 and unders go free anyway. Yeah. Um, so for 35 quid... And that gets you from sort of nine thirty in the morning yeah. till two a.m. Yeah. the following morning. Yeah, which yeah, only you, makes you the worst or the best parent in the world. Yes, I don't know. That's so. kind of parenting done right for me. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Let's go to the extreme. So if you think about it, you can have a really great value mm -hmm. for money day out, and of course. The more days you come, if you think about it, thirty-five pound for a single day. By the yeah. time you're up to three, you've only gone to eighty. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, it, you're effectively getting a day free. Yeah. So you know it's a it's and there's just so much to do from comedy shows yeah. to seminars yeah. to workshops yeah. to the, the demonstration. The, yeah, the Wyvern's Lair. I'm not yeah. sure if we're doing Wyvern's Lair this year, are, are we? we? Oh. Uh, no, we're not doing Wyvern's Lair. We are doing. We are doing we a video got... later on the publisher yes. designer track. Yeah. Okay. So. That's Look out for that one, and we'll right. go into that where we because other things have overtaken it. Yes, I, see. Yes. I, see. I liked the ritual humiliation of individuals <laughs> coming in. Yeah, apparently not the thing. These I don't days. know. I I, I kind of like the idea of it. Granddad coming out of his shed. I'll show them all. <laughs> I quite that? like the idea of them all coming and going. Here's my game, and then yeah. people are going. Oh, that's a bit rubbish. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no punches on this one. And the dragons taking it apart, and then yeah. the, and then the people vaping well, the on it and going, "That's that's rubbish." Yes. Oh yes, that's dragons. Yes, no. yes, Library. copyright, copyright, copyright. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, we've moved on to a more collaborative thing. All right. But as an individual <laughs> who doesn't play cooperative games, I like cooperative games. Yes, it doesn't. Yes. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> because it's fun to be friendly. Well, you can be friendly. It's just. I'm Everything winning. is awesome when you're part of a team. <laughs> uh, a I'm surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, I tell you what, get your comments in below. Tell us, what do you think? Are you thinking of coming to UK Games Expo for the first time? Are you thinking of bringing friends or family along for the first time? Yeah. And uh, what do you think of the way the guys do it for UK Games Expo? We'll move on. We'll see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.